afternoon. This is Frank Thomas from www.ubotjunkie.com. That's www.ubotjunkie.com. It's been a little while since I've done any tutorials, and I felt it was time to start doing some version 4 tutorials on Ubot Studio. Things have come a long way with uh, version 4, and today I want to touch upon a subject that seems to be elusive to people who are migrating to version 4 and that is the new commands that revolve around using subroutines. Now remember in version 3 we had the ability to create a subroutine. Okay? A subroutine is something that we can put into a nice little pocket and call that anywhere in our script that we want to. Okay? We can pass variables to this so we can say edit. Oh, we can't edit that one. Sorry. So parameter. Um, I'm going to say um, URL sub just to distinguish what it is and I'm going to insert the variable here as URL sub okay so now when I call this subroutine like if I run it as it sits nothing happens okay so let's do a run sub Okay, and it's going to ask me for the URL, so what I'm going to do I'm going to direct it right to my site here. Okay, so let's give this a shot now. Okay, so let me show what's going on here. Inside the subroutine it's grabbing a parameter, it's placing that parameter into the navigate, it's navigating to the page, okay, and then it clicks the about link on the page waits until it finishes and then it looks for the word about and if it sees it it writes a write to browser showing found it okay let me just put a pause in here so you can see exactly what it's doing I'm going to pause here put a pause here and we'll run it again real quick so it's going to the site Okay, so it's paused, it's sitting on the site. Okay, so next thing it should do is there's the about link there, let's see what it does. Clicks the about link, waits it for it to finish. We're paused again, or so we're sitting right here, and it'll search the page. Because it sees the about in the text on the page, it shows a right to browser showing found it. Okay, so let's look at how this is going to look in version. Four of Ubot Junkie. Okay, or sorry, the version four of Ubot Studio. Okay, give me one second. Okay, so I've written a script that's almost identical in the version four of Ubot Studio. Okay, uh, now you're going to see some very big differences. First of all, our subroutine is called a define. Okay, if I right click on this and edit it, we have the name as we had in the old version here. Okay, there's the name. Now these are your parameters here. Now notice here I used minus signs. With variables in version 4 you cannot use minus signs. You can still use spaces, you can use underscores, but you cannot use minus signs. So this is something I got stuck on for a while there and wasn't understanding why it wasn't working for me. So we can pass um, parameters through here. We can add parameters or we can take them away. Okay, So that's how we define our parameters. Okay, and these are variables we're going to use in here, as you can see um, in the the uh, actual running here. Let me show you the difference here. Remember, here we did a run sub. Okay, now for us to run this, let me just get rid of this here. You have to look underneath the commands because it's set up as a command. And you'll notice that you can do a command or a function. Now these are they operate. These two things operate almost the same but there is a fundamental difference between the two and one of them is you're going to find when you create a custom command you're going to find it underneath your custom commands here so let me just close this here so I'm OK as soon as I do that you'll see I've got it here so now instead of doing a run sub like we did in version 3.5 we are going to do just grab the command and drag it up okay and we put in the URL that we want to go to Okay, so the Ubot Junkie setting, I click OK. 
and as you can see it's pretty much the same the commands are a little different okay we're gonna navigate we're gonna navigate to the sub we're gonna look for the about text or we're gonna click on the about when it comes up it's gonna wait for the page to finish and then it looks for now in this version it's a little more in depth I actually had to I actually had to oh, okay I can't go back and touch it again here I actually had to go in there and play with it a bit just to find the right command. Okay, so if that exists, that's what we want to do. So, and if it is, then we found it. Okay, so let's just run it here. So it's going to go to the UBOT Junkie site, and immediately it came back up, found it. So you can see this version does run pretty snappy. It's pretty fast. Okay, so we're doing the same thing, but let's say in version 3 here I want to set a variable let's say I want to set a variable to let's call it variable okay and we're just gonna click OK now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, underneath um, system uh, constants I can click return value now what I can do is I can run the sub in there okay now what I can do is I can do right to browser alert uh, and what I'm gonna do is I am going to put in my new variable here called variable okay so instead of doing the alert here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this go away here and I'm gonna do a return okay Okay, and I say found the page, and if it didn't find it, I'm going to do a return. This allows you to make your subroutines, or in the new version you defines, very resilient. In other words, you can see when something fails. So what we've done here is I'm just going to take the pause scripts out here. Okay, is we're telling it that if it found it finds the about return the value found the page if not oops something went wrong so let's just run this now so let's well before we run it we're setting a variable based upon the return value of the subroutine and then we're going to write it to the browser ah oh, yeah my mistake I put this into an alert here let me just fix that. I'm getting ambitious here. I'm so used to doing JavaScript commands that uh, I stuck that in there. So let's run it again. She so can actually see it running properly. Okay, so what we've done here is we've used this subroutine and returned a value telling the program, the main program that called the subroutine, that everything went fine. And you can see the uses that can happen here. But, now here's the big but because this is a command you cannot return a value you can certainly put a return statement in here let's say I take this out here and I type in return okay or I can then say oops got stuck in the wrong place there or I can click here and I can say return So I have two returns here. Now, let's say I want to take that return and, and now use it. Because right now, because this is a command, let me show you something here. So let's do a set. I'm going to call it variable. OK. Now, I would want to drag this in. So I'm going to try to drag this in. You notice it didn't do it. It just dumped it outside. Let's try again. You see I'm getting the the uh, no-go sign there, that uh, circle with a slash through it. Won't let me do it. So I cannot return values with a command statement. 
Now let's see how we do this a little bit differently then. Let's just right click on here. I'm going to edit this here. Now take a look. You notice on a custom command when I'm editing it's gone. Let me just uh, say OK here. Sorry, the screen's a little small. Okay, so on a custom command, there it is, and it's in blue. Okay, now I'm going to change this. I'm going to right click, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go from a, being a custom to a function. Okay, now if you look under commands, there's no custom command anymore. So, what I do is I look under functions, custom functions, and lo and behold, in green, there it is. So, what I'm going to do is set. variable and I'm going to grab this and pull it into here okay and I put the value in here okay and I say okay in advanced I can say it's global look I'm not too worried about that this it's a global variable that's fine okay so now I can actually get a return value and that's the one of the big differences between a command and a function. A command is designed to take input and do something. A function is designed that it takes input and returns something. And that's the big difference. You're using functions within other functions because or other commands, uh, but you cannot use a command in a command. You see this is blue, this is a command. Green is a function. You see qualifiers are functions. They actually work inside of a command. Okay, like the if function if if command would use the qualifier functions. Okay, See down here? The if is blue, the qualifier is green, which is a function. And that's the fundamental difference. So let's just, I'm going to do a um, load HTML. Load HTML replaces the right to browser. And I'm just going to tell it to Put the variable, so I'm going to grab the variable and say OK, and let's see what happens here. So down here, we're just returning values. And as you can see, it works just the same. So that's what you got to remember. That is the fundamental change between our old subroutines, our old favorite subroutines, and the new define. Now it's actually quite more powerful. It, in a lot of ways it does the same thing, but in, in other ways it does things very different. The whole idea now is you're going to separate your commands which do a thing, it might take input, it might not with the parameters, but it does not return a value, whereas functions can operate within commands and they can return a value. They can take input, and that's the big difference. So I hope that helps you. I'll um, make sure on the web page I'll actually insert this code because we can grab this lovely code here and I'll paste this right into the window if you'd like to try this in version for yourself. This is Frank Thomas from ubotjunkie.com. That's www.ubotjunkie.com and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.